Hello, my name is Hydrax and welcome back to another episode of Mafia. So yeah, we're just right we left off. Let's talk to Saliri, the big boss, the Dawn. Open the door. I don't have the Italian accent, but hey. He we can is. always try. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So we need to believe to what to protect lights. them. We're better than that. But the bills still do? And everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. You see my new uh, outfits? Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Oh, Tom. yeah. Head to him first. Uh, Vinny. Tom just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Vinny, is that uh, Vincenzo? Yeah, Vincenzo. Ralphie, Vinny, Tommy, Polly. Yeah, shit, hey, they have a problem with the Y. I I saw this. And I thought of you. That little gun. You what? Give me that. You know when I see myself in the mirror, I see that Tommy gun, okay, over there. You see that? Come on. Don't leave me hanging here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you hanging. I want a Tommy gun. You see me as a little, 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 little gun? All right, okay, okay. No problems. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <sighs> right. That don't, that don't count. count. Pointed at the target over there. I have no bullets, man. Not at me. Good posture, real me, bang. Bring all up the walls, okay? Now That's show me a real... Okay, it has like a little sway. Bam, bam, bam. Booming nuts. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. Left control is going up. Hey, yeah. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Oh, man, that's sweet of you. But give me the dummy gun right now, okay? Fuck, old man. Give me a little gun and saying he hey, it looks like me. Go see Uncle Vinny, you know we'll be. Look, you guys need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff, he said Morello's still One year since the crash. Which crash? We're spanning Wall Street. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, that's the car we stole. Pretty nice. You, you know how to get, get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. Learn. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still smart. Well, You're it's a actually a pretty magician, nice, Ralphie. pretty easy mm. thing. Whole V to pick up a gore lock. Come on, Tete Tommy. Show me. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Okay, let me just have a hey, quick little look. You never know, maybe like a, a card or some other things. Is there, is it, is that the way he's, he sleeps? I'm pretty sure that's his wife. Oh, it's his mom. No kidding. Vinny and his mom. That's nice. Always love your moms. All right. You know, it, it takes time to pick a lock. Sure, but do it when the co coast's clear. No, no, no noise. No cops. No shit. Okay, let's go back in. First, we got out. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. 
Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. L, drive the first collection. All right. So guys, if you didn't see my first episode, go watch it. If you never saw the the first introduction, uh, you will miss out a lot, out of a lot, you know. How does this work? Like, there's not even a place to go with your car. A fucking diner. Huh? That's police car, yeah. Alright, uh, how do you cut off that? Yeah, the radio. Oh shit, that music is shit. Okay, I think that's the only it. thing that I will not enjoy is the radio on this game. Oh. I missed it. I missed a stop. I wasn't watching. Alright. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my A lead. baker that's going to, to keep it hard? Nah, I don't think so, man. Oh, I like it. You can, like, uh, see through. See what's inside. I'm going first, okay? Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Oh, <laughs> shit. So little now, she's... Turning into a pain in the ass. Just uh, like pain in the ass, of course. Uh, Chocolate cake, out. strawberry cake. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. maca cake now maybe. Got trouble around here. Mm -hmm. oh, I love it. Problems. No, no, nothing like that. I'm Good. fucking hungry. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll. Tommy, I'll get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we... Oh, oh those things are donuts. It's a big hole, man. It's at the back of the shop, Tom. Yeah, yeah, forget. What's this? Okay, let me read this really quickly. This letter is notification that you're in default, default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. Mr. Bertorelli, this amount has been overdue since July 15, 1930. You have in your request to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process on your home and business. Alright. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, cigarette cards? Yeah, boy. Trapani. Uh, hello, uh, money? Hello. I don't know what you said, but I guess. I, I guess it's not nice, alright? Not a problem, ma'am. I'm a good guy, you know? I never killed a soul. I'm sorry, ma'am. Bye. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma. Huh? Just putting a cigarette right in front of his shop. Well, in his shop. Nice. Real smooth, you know? Real smooth. Yeah, she's beginning to be a pain in the ass, huh? Can you go a bit quicker, man? Come on. What's his name? I forgot. Sam. Oh, yeah, Sam. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. China Town. The guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. 
poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. I love that he's saying a word like a Chinaman. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there. I'm not a racist, but not it's like it's just like a um, rewatching so a series Warrior, and it's about Chinese men in America, and they're all calling them like John Chinaman. So yeah, just thought it was funny. But I'm definitely not a racist, okay? All right, that's Chinatown. I love it. Hey! It's not really Chinese, but... It's all right, it's all right. It's colorful. It could be better. This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. Can you see that? You sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I need to stay in the car, He's all doing right. his door on his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Keeps him happy. Yeah. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, <laughs> Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Aye, 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 aye. That's not nice, man, Polly. I liked you, but right now uh, you're you're an asshole, you know. And I guess the third one we're going visit will be like a, Here a fucking comes. gunfight. He's I'm a pretty sure. Worker. Where's the envelope? Well, she's Drive going before fast. the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese. Oh yeah. Yes, that's nice. Uh, in the previous episode, I was saying like, can we go like in that direction? Because there were like roads and not, and stuff. So we can and that's nice. So it makes like the, the map two times bigger. But I guess we can go on the green. It's a shame. Because like you see they could do a lot of stuff right here and there. Everywhere I guess. Nephew yeah, guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah. Seems like it's not too hard. You never know. The, hard. the game can change. Hard. The map can change. I don't know. I never played it, so I don't know. Guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. <laughs> nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Nice. Oh, that's a nice view. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place Ooh, for most can of we the play things poker we in this game? We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most oh, dough shit. are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new What's this? 
International Airport. Lease okay. of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Barolo? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. What I kind of enjoy in this Anyone game is that there's a lot of conversation of between the characters. Walks. You not one for the great outdoors? It doesn't stop with a, a silence for indoors, more than a minute. Outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Oh, Wait yeah, for us here, is. Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. 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 You know, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be a fight. I have that 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 sixth sense when I know there's going to be a, a fight, you know. And if I'm not right, yeah, shit. Yes! I knew it! Tom! Tom, I, I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh yeah, it's time to use my lil gun. So was that the one? No. Oh, that's uh, go back in the holster, I guess. Holster. And one is the gun. Okay. Okay, let's sneak. So Sam is right behind this wall. Is that the only option to go? This shit won't last forever. Oh. How could it be mine? He don't know shit. Okay, let me just get my ammunition. I don't know if I'm at max. You see? I think it's bugged. I, I really need to watch this because every time I press to go left, he just goes punching people. Okay. Let's go. He's right here. Fucking strangle, strangle him! Oh yeah! Can I take your gun? I actually enjoy your your gun more. Give me your gun. Pick up body, swap semi out the pistol. Pistol. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, you know what? I never shoot at it. Shoot with this gun. So let's try the gun first. And if I can see a shotgun or something other than uh, this pistol, oh yeah, I'm gonna take it. Dude, dude is dying over there. Okay, I see a symbol right here. Just going to have a look at what this, a book. Okay, let me just get this motherfucker right here. Hey. <coughs> Boom! So we're actually not killing them. Okay, let's go right back. What's this? Oh shit! You see where he went? And a motherfucking face. Okay, let's stop sneaking. I'm still not a fan of the controls. Okay, let's go up. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? After this episode, I'm just going to have a look. Because it, it's pretty annoying. Uh, 
What? I'm empty. Fucking three bullets in his fucking neck. Take care of all the ducks. Oh yeah, oh you can cover like this too? Nice. Okay, where is he? Okay, let me get some heals. Never know. Roberto Goletti. Okay, I see three people. Taking cover. Do I have Molotovs? Yeah, I hate it. I hate it because every time I'm punching for no reason. No, I have no Molotovs. Okay, it's really difficult to shoot. Fucking in the face. Swept cover. Yeah, it's difficult. No. Okay, I, I just saw something. Left cover, and then if you switched. Okay, you can do that. Service revolver. Oh shit, that's pretty nice too. Oh yeah. Looks like a magnum. Stop punching, motherfucker. Okay, nothing left. Tommy. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Yeah, I'm sorry for this uh, poor performance. Christ. Come on. You'll be alright. You're tough as nails. Oh, yeah, it's melee fight. Oh, shit. Oh, no. got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Car chase. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Then go get the money. No worry. Can I shoot? What the hell am I even doing? So, what did I have to do right there? I had to shoot one, he's out. Catch the truck and get the money. Can I? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I need to ram the car. Ram it. Fuck him. I don't understand. I see that red circle. How many bullets can this motherfucker take?
Okay, I guess I need to redo this because... Okay, you just shoot his fucking wheels. Okay, you still following me, motherfuckers? That was when I saw the car. His motorcycles. What it meant to be on the inside. <laughs> I should have took off. <clears throat> All right, gangs of lost heaven. Continue. Intermezzo. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob and force. That was a poor performance. Just don't look. I'm just starting this, okay? At the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He's scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. No, then I. I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. <laughs> I, I just... What the hell is the real problem, I, just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's for you. Grizzle bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... <laughs> Dude, you're a fucking boxer. Just fucking kill the dude. What the fuck? He's a fucking boxer. Just break his neck. I don't know. Oh my goodness. So that's the, the other dude. That's the other boss. Uh, the Dom. Someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there. Says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true too. And still... Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I'm Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare somebody. Oh, was that our down? Was... Nah, fuck Don it. I, I'm not. I'm Morello not following it now. Think straight when he was mad. No, it's Morello's you know, uh, the other one. Hmm. Yeah, 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 the Salieri and Morello. Yeah, yeah. With uh, I, I was forgetting him about first. that stuff. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. A bit of fun? I like that. And what's, this, what's the fun? Show it to me, man. Fair play. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. 
That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Okay. As soon as you're ready. Get the fuck him up. Hey. Your pop let you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. Oh, no, nice that portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this. Just seeing if there's like a couple Paul, of stuff here. No. Nope. He drove you home. Oh yeah. Christ. That was some night. For you maybe. Let's talk to Rolf. Ralph. Not so much. Yeah, the sick. Hey, hey. Bona Tom. So that's a five the six. Hey Titi Tommy. Big day. Come Tommy. Up, right? Tommy. You, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, L -L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good All right, Rafi. Ralphie. Guys, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. I uh, just want to see, well, to go and see if I can change my settings a bit because uh, I fucking hate it every time I walk or run or sneak that he punches because it's bugged, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Next episode will be, I guess, uh, fixing a car and a car race. I hope it will be enjoyable. But hey, I uh, hope you guys enjoy what I do. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or comment. It would be glad you appreciate it. And if you can subscribe, it will make me happy. But if, it, if this episode wasn't fun or anything else, don't worry. It's not a big deal. I'm just new. I'm trying my best, you know. It's normal that I'm not like one of those 1 million subscribers. Even 100,000, you know. But if you like it, stick around and you never know in the future i uh, can be better and you, you never know you know but hey i'll say goodbye and i'll see you guys on the next episodes